Radio frequency meters of different models will often yield different readings. There are several reasons for this. In the real world, it is rare to encounter a single signal. Generally, a wide mixture of signals from multiple sources will be present. These signals will have different frequencies, different orientations, and different digital characteristics. How a meter interprets these differing aspects will impact the readout. Frequency range. Every meter has a specified frequency range. For example, 30 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz. The meter can be expected to detect and report signals within that range. Signals which are outside of that range may be detected only weakly or not at all. So if a signal is present which is within the range of meter A and outside of the range of meter B, it will only show up on meter A. Frequency response. For every antenna, there will be frequencies that it picks up better than others, even within the specified frequency range of the meter. Imagine listening to a marching band. If your hearing is better for the high notes of the piccolo or the low notes of the tuba, your experience of the same performance will be different than that of the person standing next to you. If you have taken RF readings, you know that the levels can fluctuate widely from one moment to the next and from one location to the next. Even moving the meter a few inches to one side or the other can have a large impact. It is difficult to place two meters in the same location at the same moment. So part of the difference in readings is due to this time and location difference. Orientation of the signal. All RF signals have an orientation in space. They may be vertically or horizontally polarized, or they may be circularly polarized. The orientation of the meter's antenna relative to the signal will greatly impact the meter's ability to see the signal. If the antenna is aligned properly, it will see the signal. If it is not, the readout will be lower. When multiple signals are present, with different orientations, it is difficult to define the proper orientation for that antenna. In addition, signals may be originating from different locations. So for example, one signal may be coming from the north and another from the east. The direction that the meter is pointed will impact how well the meter sees the given signal. If pointed to the north, it will see that signal very well, but could miss the signal from the east entirely. Further, it is possible that the user's body may partially shield a signal coming from behind, reducing the meter's ability to detect it. Also, objects nearby may be reflecting some signals, so that not only is the primary signal reaching the meter, but signals reflected from nearby objects could increase the amount of radiation reaching a given spot. Peak versus average. Most signals today are digital. Digital signals are composed of a series of short bursts separated by periods of quiet, almost like a barcode. It is possible to define the strength of the signal by reporting the peak intensity, that is the strongest burst within a specified time, or the average intensity, the average of all peaks plus quiet periods within a specified time. This creates three possible discrepancies between different meters. One, what is the specified time? Different sample times will yield different results. Two, is the meter reporting peak or average? Some meters do not specify. And three, is the meter reporting some combination of peak and average? Sensitivity. Every meter will have both an upper and lower limit of strength of the signals it can measure. Some meters will be more sensitive than others on the low end, meaning that they can detect weaker signals. Taking all of this together, it is a wonder we can measure RF signals at all. In truth, no meter detects all the signals which can reach its location for the reasons we spoke about. It comes down to how much of the signal present does the meter capture and how much does it not capture. As you can see, part of the answer depends on the characteristics of the meter and part depends on the orientation and characteristics of the signal itself. Thank you.